Hey everybody, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, I know you guys miss me lots because I'm not there today. Uh, Zach said he'd be at a hockey tournament, so I'm hoping he's having a great tournament. And I hope you guys are looking forward to a weekend. Uh, I think we deserve it after a kind of a long week. You guys have worked well. Guys, one of the last things we're going to do in Publisher is explore all of these different types of templates and publication types that we have. We're going to look at a few, and you're going to have to choose one that you want to do on your own. I'm going to have you do about three or four today and then one on your own. Some of the things that I want to do, let me close down Publisher for a second and then I'll open it up again and you can see when we open Publisher that we do get all of those publication types again exactly where I was and you'll see the same page. Now we have some popular types in here but we kind of have all of them along here and it's actually if you were to check online you can download hundreds and hundreds more but a couple that I want us to do today, I want us to look at a business card, and I want you to create your own business card and have a bit of fun with that. Um, if you want to be a chicken farmer, you can be a chicken farmer. If you want to be a rocket scientist, be a rocket scientist. Have a bit of fun. Think of a company name. I'm going to go to business cards. I just clicked on it. Here's all the designs that I have. I've got some newer designs, some classic designs and you're just going to kind of look at it. You got some blank designs. I don't recommend you use the blank ones. I recommend you go with some of the templates up here. I'm just going to click one here. I'm going to go with the Photoscope design. And when I click on it, it should open up. You have to double click on it. And it's creating my template. And what I want to do here is I want to cut these things out. So I'm going to highlight my text, delete it, and I'm going to replace it with what I had in there what I want to make up for my own address. And you'll have to kind of look at it and say, okay, my primary business address, maybe it's XYZ Computer Store and my first address. You're just going to fill things in. And the things you don't need, you just delete. Your business name, again, you can cut that out, type in whatever you want. Uh, type in your name here and your title. So my name would be Harry C. Bly Levin. If you guys can figure out what the C stands for, you'll get a little bonus mark. My title could be President. So President of my company. Fill in my information. This is just a little piece of clip art. I can, I want to get rid of that or I want to change it. It's my logo. So I want to probably, when I double click on it, notice that when I double click on it, this opens up and I can search for clip art. So perhaps I want to find a, a computer piece of clip art and I want to drag that in instead. And I may have to resize it. And again, we know all these tools to resize things. I'm going to delete that one in the background. Let me get rid of that thing there. And I can resize this so that it fits. It's actually kind of, kind of some of the same colors as this bar up here. I don't really like the flower, so I'm going to put in something else, a little more technology, technological-like. Uh, I'm going to put in this one here. But again, I'll resize it. Okay, and there's my business card. Once I kind of do some changes up here yet, and I add some of these things. I'm going to add all this, finish it, save it to your Z drive as business card underscore your name. So business card is one that we have to do. And then I also want to do another one. We're going to do a sign. So I'm going to click on signs. And the sign that I want you to do, I want you to make a sign for the garden that we're going to have. Choose whatever kind of style you want, but I'd like to see you either change some fonts on it, change the text, change the color, change the picture. I want you to personalize it and make it yours. So you're going to do a business card, a sign, and then I also want you to do a greeting card. I'm going to go to greeting card and double click. We'll let it wait a minute here. Hopefully it's going to wait a minute. Uh, there's my greeting card. In a greeting card, if I click on one, let's click on this one. By the way, greeting cards, let me back up for a second, because greeting cards, there's so many greeting cards I can choose from. File new. Greeting cards. 
waiting patiently for my computer. I mean, I've got lots to choose from down here. And I've even got some specialized one. We've moved, engagement, birth announcement, holiday, um, more down here, birthday. So you can choose one that you want. I'm going to choose a thank you card here. I'm going to use the blocks. It's going to create the template for me. One thing I want you to notice, however, is that I believe at the bottom, down here, you're going to see four pages. I don't see it on my screen, but you're going to see it on your screen. And those four pages, let me see if I can get that at the bottom here, right here. Those four pages, we have the outside, the two inside pages, and the back of it. So you need to kind of play around with that and see what that's going to look like. So, so far, here's what we've got. We've got a business card, we have a sign, and a greeting card. And the last one I want you to do is one of your choice. So we're going to go to File, New, and I want you to look and choose one that you want to do. Hope that kind of makes sense. I'm also going to write it on Edsby so you can see what you have to do. But you can also check out this video and check out some of the things that we've talked about. Uh, so again, we're just using templates to create a business card, a greeting card, a sign, and one other thing of your choice. Guys, hope you have a great day and a great weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Just to get you kind of thinking, next week we are going to spend a couple of days on getting ready for that presentation day, which is November 30th. I'm quite excited about that because, guys, you've got some awesome stuff that you want to show or that I think you're able to show as we kind of get working towards our garden or even we're looking at some of the things that we've done in the, on the math side of it, of you doing the equations and doing the graphs that we've done. We'll talk more about that on, the, on Monday and Tuesday. Guys, have a great weekend, and I hope you have a great class. Talk to you later.